My beloved, delight yourself in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart and fulfill even the secret petitions that lie deep within you. Remember Psalm 37, 4, which says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and secret petitions of your heart. These desires are no accident. They are planted within you with purpose. They are not just your ideas or whims. They are my desires for you, and I have placed them in your heart. Consider the story of Abraham, my faithful servant. I called him the father of many nations, long before he held a child in his arms. When I gave him this promise, Abraham and Sarah were of advanced age, beyond the years when they could naturally expect to have children. He could have doubted, looking at his situation and saying, How could this ever be, Lord? My wife is barren, and we are old. But my dear one, Abraham did not need to see the promise fulfilled to believe it. He believed first, and in time, he saw it come to pass. Understand this principle. I do not call you by what you currently are, but by what you are meant to be. My calling speaks to your future, to the divine potential I see within you. Before the world names you based on what you have already achieved, I name you based on what I have destined you to become. When I speak over you, I call out the greatness I have already woven into your spirit, a greatness that will unfold in due time if you remain in faith. Think of the dreams, the visions, and the quiet hopes in your heart, the things you rarely share with others because they seem too big, too impossible. These are not mere fantasies or idle daydreams. These are the very promises I have planted within you. They are part of your destiny, a calling to what you are meant to achieve. Your secret petitions, those longings you think might be out of reach, are not meant to discourage you but to inspire you. They are me whispering to you about the possibilities I have for your life. Do not talk yourself out of them. Do not let doubt, fear, or the limitations of the world cloud what I have spoken to you. Human nature will say, when I see it, then I'll believe it. But faith says, I believe it, and I know, lil, see it. This is the essence of faith, to trust in what I have promised even before it appears. Hold on to this truth, dear one. If I have placed a dream in your heart, I will also give you the strength, wisdom, and guidance to fulfill it. Stay close to me and let me work in you. Trust that in my time, every promise I have spoken over you will come to fruition. Walk in faith, for I am with you, and together we will see every word I have spoken come to pass. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the dreams and hopes you've placed within my heart. Your guidance leads me toward my purpose, showing me all I can become through your grace. I'm grateful for your love and the promise that your plans are greater than my own. I trust that with you by my side, every step brings me closer to the destiny you've designed. Your strength is my assurance, and I know I have all I need to reach where love meant to be. May I walk faithfully in your light and wisdom. In Jesus' holy name, amen. God bless you.